Why, hello there. My name is John Henry Sheridan, and welcome to my Thoughtful Pause series. I am a human being on planet Earth at this particular unique time in human history, and it's a thrill to be here. Wouldn't you agree? Thrilling might be a word you can sense at this time, you know, at this juncture that we're at. Uh, so I come on here to do these thoughtful pause um, talks as a way to uh, create something, a space, an opening uh, for you to consider at this bumpy time. And whether you're listening to it right now uh, in August of 2020 or in five years in 2025 or who knows, maybe in uh, in the year 30, 20, you're listening to it 100 years from now. I hope you'll still be able to get some benefit from it then. So the concept I want to bring to you today is the Dear Universe Exercise. The Dear Universe Exercise. So um, if I inadvertently stole this from somebody and my apologies um, I'm not claiming that it's mine but this is an exercise I've been doing for several years and I'm sure I got the idea from somewhere but I really don't know where um, I don't know I don't know so I feel like it's something I'm I created for myself mixing what I've heard from various places but it works uh, so um, again, I don't want credit for it, but I'm just showing you what I do. It's called the Dear Universe Exercise. So, <clears throat> basically, this is what it looks like. And I'll explain to you why I think it works and why it works for me. So, um, right before bed, um, take a pen and a notebook, journal. You can do a just the, the blank side of a already used piece of paper. It doesn't have to be fancy. You know, you could do it on a post-it um, if you think that you have enough space. Um, the quality of the paper is not important. And, you know, some exercises, things like that might matter. Anyway, I, I like to use a journal. But if I run out of my journal and I just have uh, half-used paper, I'll just re repurpose it, staple a few together. Whatever. The main thing is the message that you get <clears throat> right away. Of course, you look at it years later, days later, weeks later, and you may still get something out of it. I think I might even create a Dear Universe book, collect, shown collection of the messages I've got over the years. Anyway, so, sorry, back to the way it works. You take your book and your pen. You sit down. Before bed, or you stand up, or whatever, I would sit down at a desk or somewhere where you can comfortably write, and you write these words. Dear Universe, and a question. At this point, I just write like a word that I know what it means, and I trust my higher self to understand what I'm why I'm saying those words. You know, I'm asking the question to myself, so I don't think I need to explain that much if specifics are bothering me. But sometimes you might want to write that out. And it could be something that's not bothering you. It could just be something you want a little more insight on or something that you're excited about and want a little bit of guidance on or confirmation about. So, for example, I might write, uh, Dear Universe... Um, thoughtful pause series, right? This series of putting out uh, ideas for people to think about at this time. Kind of a spiritual talk series. And I'll put, Dear Universe, Thoughtful Pause, se thoughtful pause Series, question mark. And then I, wait, I tend to wake up in the middle of the night to use the restroom. So I, I'll do that, and then I'll sit down, and I'll look at the questions I wrote. I write a question, and I leave space. 
maybe half a page, quarter a page, then write the next question, leave space. So let's say the first question is a thoughtful pause. As I sit down, I have to use energy, my mind power. I don't, I'm not pretending that someone's going to, the spirit will take your hand and guide. Occasionally I do wake up and I read what I wrote and I don't really remember even thinking those thoughts that just appeared there if I'm really tired in the middle of the night. But most often I remember sitting there and thinking about it and writing it. Um, but the use, the benefit is the universe, you're allowing yourself to put yourself in the mind of the universe. Or if you want to think of it as God or the creator or the creative power. Or you can write Dear Higher Self. I like to say Dear Universe as if there's this, uh, the kind of like the all encompassing whole that works for me. And I think that it's flexible for many people to understand that. But if there's a, another word you prefer to use, you can also say dear somebody. So dear dad or deceased loved one. Uh, I, I suppose you could do it for people who are living, who you don't have contact with. I think that would be fine too. I don't often do that. But I might say to a dear deceased loved one and a question. And then what I find is as I just write down the answer, either first thing in the morning or in the middle of the night when you wake up, if you allow yourself just kind of to write what comes to mind, not judging it, it's often sounds like the person you're asking from or your higher self. To me, when I read the answers, it doesn't sound like me. It sounds like not like the John Henry me. It sounds like uh, a bit, I don't, I don't use the word greater, but a, a bit uh, of a, it's coming from a wider uh, perspective, the answer that I get. And that, and it's always, it always feels right. It always feels right. It's always compassionate and um, loving to me, but not like, uh, it's not a lie. Doesn't, I'm not, the responses I get are not just to uh, make me feel good, but always to challenge me just enough so that I can maintain my composure and my, um, my own pace, my own rhythm, uh, to be true to my heart. It really works. I know maybe you might want some examples. If somebody does want examples, uh, you can feel free to ask me in the comment section. If you're on YouTube or Facebook, um, feel free to ask me specific questions about it. Um, this is not connected to my, uh, my religious practice. This is something I do on my own that I came up with or came across. And, and it works, and it's in harmonious with my life, and uh, it's in harmony with my my beliefs and my morals so I'm okay with it um, it seems to help me to give me guidance on a daily basis I call it the dear universe uh, exercise all right so you know if you try it out and you have some success or you're not quite sure what to do and you have a question feel free to reach out uh, anyway um, until I see you next time Keep that smile on your face, please. You look beautiful when you smile. Cheers.